How did you take away the turn? What? I don't. You took away the turn icon, yeah? Why? Yeah, if he takes damage, it becomes unturned. Yeah. Huh. I don't see that, but I, I'll believe you. It's um. It yeah, takes it's turns for one minute or until it takes any damage. It's the oh, last. I, I do see it. <laughs> I just. I'm blind. We completely right. skipped over that. Actually, what am I saying? Why am I climbing down there? If there's a battle, I'm going the other way. <laughs> Double okay. move. One, two, sure. three. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. You can do that. Okay. So I can go I go six the other way. One. Two. Yeah, there's, or ten squares. There's often booty after a battle. Four, five, six. You said ten squares? Yeah. Oh, oh. Or wait. No. Or Twenty squares. squares. Or wait. <coughs> Never mind. I can't do math right now. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Twelve squares. <laughs> John's being arrested. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Zoya, you did your double move? Yes. Okay. Skeletons. Well, this skeleton turns back around. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, And he says, ah. ah and he swings. <laughs> That's all skeletons can say. And he rolls a seven. Swing this. Oh. Um... Skeleton number two is going to shoot at you. 21. That's going to hit me. With Which the one? plus two oh, bonus. It still hits him with the plus two bonus. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So that is... He's 18 normally. Yeah. Maximum eight piercing. I take five Funk. piercing. Because he Robin Hoods you. And the final one goes five, ten... 15, opens the door, 20. And I take five 30. piercing because of my feet. Ah! And falls in the pit. Yeah. In the, in the peanut gallery. Does he actually fall in the pit? Yeah, because yeah. he's dumb. Nice. And he takes eight bludgeoning damage. Rattle, crattle, crash. <laughs> crash. Make quite the rickety sound. But no, it's no longer unturned. And it yeah, because it took damage. But You're I don't right. think you can get out anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of stuck. I don't think to climb with the lay bones. Good yeah, didn't go down I don't there. think skeletons are great climbers. <laughs> he, he might just stay there for all eternity if you just leave him there, just like bouncing from one wall to the other like a broken toy. <laughs> the skeletons get bored. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, muffin monster. Says, what does it do? Fool! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like towering over you, like slobbering and really speaking his you. weird thoughts into your head. And I need you to make a, what was it? Deception roll. Okay. Capusta. Oh, critical perception. Oh, uh, you're Deceptor. probably going to beat me. Oh, I can't get your secrets. Oh. You have a strong mind and good uh -oh. muffins. <laughs> means he got my secret. <laughs> Aleph. I think well. he has to die. Yeah, I'm a little concerned for Kapusta there. That doesn't look like a good place for him to be. Okay. Muffins! Muffins! Just, can just the two of us do it, though? I don't know, man. Let's... Hmm. I, haha. Haha. -ha. Mm -hmm. ha -ha. I will. Let's see. Let's see. I move five. Um... My full move would be, that'd be 15, and then from there, another 15 would put me there. I will go to there, and I will create the minor illusion of an enormous, oh. an enormous pile of muffins oh. <laughs> at the bottom of 
above the pit right there. Oh, wait. Yeah. Right okay. There. Right down there. Like filling okay. the pit. Is however big a minor illusion can be. I think it's like a five foot cube of muffins. Of muffins. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. So five cubic feet of muffins right there. Yep. And I will call up. Right, giant muffin. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what would be more appealing to a muffin monster. <laughs> one big, huge muffin. <laughs> yeah, one giant muffin, and a female Nothic jumps out of it. No. Um, um, one giant five-foot cube muffin. Okay, I love and it. And I will call out to the Nothic, be like, "Look at that," or something. <laughs> Look, okay. at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, real oh, yeah. Okay. big muffin. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, you do that really well. <laughs> that's, my, that's my turn. It's hard to come up with more gibberish. It doesn't sound like the gibberish I already did. <laughs> well, they can repeat themselves. That's right. <laughs> Alatar. Uh, I can only see one guy. I'm gonna cast dissonant whispers on him. Okay. So that is a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Is that a first level spell? It what? is. Oh. He fails. Okay. It's kind of odd. Like Eleven psychic damage. Uh, you destroy him. Uh -huh. Well done. The sound just blows his head up. <laughs> he just his head goes. <laughs> Did he do a wisdom save? Yeah, he failed. He rolled yeah, a he seven. Failed. He did a seven. Um, if I can remember how to use roll twenty, here we go. Boop. Nice. There's one spell slot. Brother Badtile. Um, did Brother Badtile actually hear the muffin uh, in his head? The muffin monster talk about. I couldn't get your secrets to Kapusta. Yeah, he's kind of broadcasting it to all of you guys. Sorry, Roy. The Muffin Man must die. Yeah, I don't even think that... Someone's got a secret. Uh, no, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> not that at all. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen? Okay, so I target our dear friend here. Okay. Oh. Fourteen. Um, that is actually gonna miss. All right, you should at least be exciting though, looking. Yeah, you want to describe it? Oh yeah, so out of the uh, um, the eyes on Brother Badtile's shield um, uh, glow red and almost look sad, like they're almost a little disappointed in the brother. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, strike out with a, a, a red light, um, uh, two red lights, one from each eye that hits on either side uh, of our muffin man, scorching okay. the floor. Awesome. Well done. There's a spell slot. Kapusta. Uh, Kapusta will turn around. Bad tile, you dumbass, you killed us all. And he will disengage. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us what you really think, Kapusta? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's going to cast silent image right here to make it look like the wall. Can I do that? Uh, no, because disengage is an action. Oh, yeah, that's true. Thank you. Yeah. Otherwise, that would be crazy. <laughs> um, Roy. Roy. Roy, Roy, Roy. I've been looking at things. Now, um, as... I, I I can't um no I've answered my own question. Never mind. Um 
Awesome. Roy's gonna move to here. So I was like, can I like attack with my shield after I attack with my sword? And then I realized because I don't have the dual wielder feet and they're not light weapons, I can't anyway. So that answers my question. Thanks. <laughs> um, because I was like, that'd be cool if I could just start smacking people around. Uh, let's attack this Skelebro with the long sword. Oh gosh, that's gonna miss. Um, and that's my turn. Nice damage, though. Yeah. Yeah, Beautiful. very nice. Beautiful it's... damage. Zoya. Zoya will do a double run. Okay. So that's 60 feet. Something um... like... I don't know. How do I... Where's the measuring thing? It looks like a ruler. Uh... Oh, it's going to look like a comb. No, a comb. Yeah, I think yeah. it looks like a comb, too. It's Baba Yaga's oh, okay. comb. I can do double that, then. Come on. <clears throat> Fucking roll 20. So you flew sound of battle toward the smell of a muffin? <laughs> Does it have smell too, Dwayne? Um, no. Sorry, no. no? Um, they're not. It's, they, you can see it, and it makes sounds, so I suppose it's making a delicious muffin-y sound. <laughs> now, you're an illusionist, right? <laughs> you're, you're an illusionist, right, Dwayne? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I think eventually you get the ability to add more, like muffin you can add smells. a smell. Yeah. Yep. Muffin, muffin, muffin. No one, no one can resist the smell of a muffin. Yes. All right. Oh, I, who drew the muffin? That's great. Yeah, it's a good muffin. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's kind of collaborative, I think. I drew it, and then somebody else started. All adding. right, you you guys are drawing the maps from now on. Quality muffin. <laughs> All right, skeletons. All right, one is going to attack Roy. Roy is the only one getting beat on by the skeletons. Yeah. Well, getting missed by the skeletons. Yeah. 20, well, does that hit? I knew you were going to say getting missed by the skeletons. And I was going to get <laughs> and, hit. And then hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Um, two. Minimum Zero damage. damage. Three piercing. Zero damage. So did... um. Did you do damage to the Nothic, I thought, with Guiding Bolt? He missed. I did not. I, I missed. Oh, oh, okay. It's an all or nothing spell. Hmm. And it was the nothing. Well, we still get the uh, the next attack roll is still with advantage, right? No, not if you miss, I don't think. I think you have to hit for that. I'm assuming. I'll scroll back and look. So... The Nothic says in all your heads, yeah. You attacked the Muffin King? How rude. Muffin King. The Muffin, the Muffin King. King? Yes, he's the Muffin King now. First we've had the Goblin King, now we've got the Muffin King. <laughs> um, so he looks at Brother Badtile with his big eye in a very not nice way. Mm -hmm. And... Suddenly, you see these waves of like purplish black energy, like uh, shoot out of its eye, never trust mm -hmm. the purple, and hit you in the chest. Oh, <clears throat> and you need to make a Constitution saving throw versus its rotting gaze. Ooh. Fifteen. Oh, you made it. I guess it does nothing. You are impervious to its rotting gaze. Oh. Sorry, rotten. Praise Salune. <laughs> Salune. <laughs> oh! How dare you! You should How be running! <laughs> Look into people's minds. It's rude. Um, I guess that's all he can do. How disappointing. Elith. <laughs> Disengage. Okay. And move to right there and make my dance and lights dance. Okay. Um, I I don't. I better check that minor illusion if that goes away when I'm out of range. I don't know. Because the range the range is only um, thirty feet. How are you putting the yellow box around things? Hmm. Dwayne was putting a yellow box around things. This cross shape. You mean this? The aura. 
around no, the characters? No, like, like the... When you selected or, a token, it put a yellow box around it. Or was your mouse idly going over the initiative order, which that's highlights whoever the person oh, is? Oh, that's what yeah. it was. Yeah, I thought what Dwayne was doing that. I'm like, how'd you do that? <laughs> See, that's that's hella useful if you decide to do like each skeleton individually's oh, initiative. Yeah. You can mouse over and it shows you which one's initiative that it is. You it guys is, want me is. to do that? You can wait while no, no, I roll no, no, all no. those initiatives. <laughs> <laughs> then you can figure out which one has the initiative. Yeah, right. that's what the point of the yellow box is, though. Yeah. Do you guys okay. see that when I do that? Mm -mm. No. no. Okay. We only see it when we do it. Uh, so uh, the minor illusion lasts for one minute. Um, okay. But I don't know if I go out of range of it. I don't know if it stays or not. That's up to you, I guess. Lex. It doesn't. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Then I think it. I think it probably stays. I think it would say. Because I mean, yeah. Jeremy Crawford just said that you don't have to see concentration things to concentrate right. on them. Okay. It's not concentration, though, is it? It's not concentration. Oh. It so, lasts for one minute. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think it just it just stays there. Good. Okay. For a minute. That's my yep. turn. Cool. Alatar. Uh, he's not gonna leave Roy alone down here. God bless you, chap. So he's gonna run down where he just blew the skeleton's head up. Okay. And really he's going to cast Chill Touch on him. Okay. This is so weird. Uh, 14. That is a hit. A whole glorious hit. one point. On the one top. damage, but it has disadvantage against me. No, all so attacks, right? I said back me, it has oh. disadvantage. I thought you said it was all attacks. I did, but then I read the. I oh, actually against read you. Okay. the book, and it. then it says against you. Gotcha. So it's it's like a lame version of frostbite. Brother Anyways. Bad Tile. Oh, it worked so well last time. Monsoon well, now you've got a, a clear shot. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <it's even> worse. <laughs> I'm wasting all my spells, and, but I can't stop. I'm unable to stop. You're addicted to the cast. Yeah. You did it again! Oh, I'm gonna kill you! I kill you! I'll just use okay, my mace this turn. Attack. I love that voice. <laughs> I like to imagine the Muffin King cuts the top off the muffin and puts it on his head and it looks like a crown. Um. <laughs> Would I be able to hide in any of these barrels? If yes, absolutely. I thought your guy was grossly fat. Yes, <laughs> he's still small. Um, she's he's going to long. throw the bag of LS rations right in front of Bad Tile, and he's going to jump into uh, this crate. And do, do you want me to roll stuff? Make it sure. Check. Why did I give you my food so you could throw it on the ground? <laughs> so I could cook it up and give him by time to okay, cook that's and feed him at the same roll. time. <laughs> right, God bless Roy. Kapusta. <laughs> or Roy something. does Roy-ish things. He <laughs> roys spectacularly. <laughs> Roy longswords the skeleton. Uh, that is a hit. Spoosh for eight slasher. Um, okay. Minus eight. You shatter quite a few of his bones. And, 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 and. It's my turn. Fighter mode. Zoya the knife. Okay. Zoya Do you have a brother, Mac? To... I gotta ask. What? Do you have a brother named Mac? I gotta ask. No, no, no. No? Okay. <laughs> um, Zoya seeing, well. Once she emerges here, I suppose, or he. Actually, Zoya's going to run over here. Um, it's about okay. 30. Seeing that they're in danger and Zoya's not that much of an asshole to let them take it. <clears throat> <laughs> um, I remove my short bow. Is that a whole action or can I shoot with it yet? Yeah, you can um, shoot. You moved 40 feet, so you're halfway into your dub, um, dash action. Did I move 30 or 40? Let me check. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Here's Which is weird, because I counted 30. <laughs> yeah, so did I. 10, yeah. And there's 20. Yeah, oh, you can shoot. Yeah, okay. I don't know where you started, or where you started Zoya off, Trevor. 
Didn't she start right here? Don't don't worry about it. She can shoot. All right. She shoots. She scores. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> feet. If I have this properly set up, I hope. Yep. <laughs> Do I get sneak attack? No, I, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> well, actually, no, I have advantage, don't I? Uh, were you stealth? I'm, yes. I mean, I'm behind it. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. Why not? Brother Badtile's been taking its attention, I think. Or yeah. you could always just re-roll stealth and then have it to perceive. Yeah, that's true. Well, but like it. she said, she's behind it. It's not. It's like very... Uh, focused on Brother Bad Tower right now, so I don't think Which there's any, unless she heard her or Sneak it heard her. So that's ten total. Yep. Thud. Uh, minus. Let's see if he has Take any that special. Take that foul beast. Nope. All right, you shoot him. Ow! In the back. Damn you! There you shoot the Muffin King. All right. Skeleton is going to attack Roy. 22. Gonna hit. He's on a roll. He found, he found his rhythm. Six piercing. Three points piercing. The other skeleton makes a heroic effort to climb out of the pit. <laughs> Let's see. He has no bonus. Oh, 15. He climbs out. <sighs> uh. All right, Brother Bad Tile. He comes All running right, at you. All right. Shield up. All right. The rotting gaze didn't work, so he's going to try it old school now. Old school. Me too. <laughs> Um, there's a seven that'll That's miss it. that'll be a miss and Sorry, miss. a 16 uh, that will be a miss as well so he slashes at you twice with his claws and can't get past your shield and your armor Elith oh any of the rations too no when you ran by <laughs> dirty dog. <laughs> not intentionally just you know I bet it was intentional. That was my GM intrusion. Stepped on your rations, bitches. Stepped Take that. <laughs> then you have someone to inspiration. Yeah. His rations were... All right. Let me, uh, the range is 10 on this. I'm going to do poison spray. Oh. Um, <laughs> now, poison... will, will that include me? Yeah. <laughs> will it? Is it an area or a targeted thing? I think it's a targeted think, thing, isn't it? I think it's targeted, actually. It's oh, like okay. Spider-Man. He's just like... <laughs> yeah. All right, that's or fine. It's like, a, it's like a flower on his lapel that he, like, squeezes, and it's oh, like... Oh, yeah, it's got a little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There, there will be a cover penalty, though, which you could avoid by stepping to the side a bit. <laughs> if you there, want there. It. Yeah. Will that work? Yeah. Okay. All right, here it is. It needs to make a saving throw. Oh, or take seven okay. poison damage. Constitution. Over huh? anyways. Um, man, you guys don't like the Muffin King? Man. I love the Muffin King, but sometimes you just have to let things go. Okay, so you take seven poison damage? Seven poison damage. Before they're immune to poison. No, they take double damage. All right. Did it work? Yeah. Okay. I, I did something. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, lady. You've been pretty much just a load this whole time. Lydia laughed. Thank you. Alatar. Touch him again. <laughs> I'll cast to touch him. Okay. 23. Oh, yeah. Five necrotic damage. Uh, you drop him. Woo! You chill touch him to death again. Brother Badtile. Initiative Mace, zero. Mace. 
Base yes, <laughs> initiative zero. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your party name, initiative zero. Uh, that will miss. I'm so upset that I, nothing's <laughs> working for me. <laughs> You fear the Muffin King, don't you? Uh, yes. Your I pretty god so won't why. save you. <laughs> Kapusta, hiding in a barrel. Staying hidden in a barrel. Okay. Awesome. And... <laughs> Roy? Okay. Well, um... I like the way this man thinks. <laughs> Roy, having previously seen the skeleton run off this way, and then hearing, I assume, probably the clatter of bones. Um, the mysterious sound of jumping. Um, I tell you what, make a perception roll. We'll see if you heard him or not. You probably hear some battling behind you as well. True. Yeah, that you don't have to roll for. Ouch. Uh, no, I don't think you heard him climb up. Um, He's being well, sneaky for a skeleton. This, this yeah. is, is this a door? Well, I guess yes. there's combat going out the other way. Yeah, and th and this door is the copper door doors that are closed. Okay. Or well, I guess they're not closed anymore because he ran through them. Never mind. Formally closed. The formally closed. The door is <laughs> formally known as closed. Okay, so Roy can get all the way. Thirty. He can get all the way here. Um, and oh yeah, the skeleton. Um, and he'll see the Muffin King, and he will throw a hand axe at the Muffin King. Um, through he will our other bad fuel. Might hit the Muffin King. Uh, sixteen does hit him. Eleven. Eleven damage, huh? And Roy will be done. He is bloodied. Oh, thank you, Roy. His brother Pactile just has like an axe, just goes soop, past his head. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I'm like freaked out, but then I see what it did, and I go, "Thank you." <laughs> it like it's spinning, so it like it like hits just the tip of your shield and keeps mm -hmm. spinning just around it, so it looks like it sort of went like through it or whatever. Whoa! Do I have like muffin crumbs all over me now? <laughs> No, you have blood all over you. <laughs> Can it be muffin blood? Zoya. Well, <clears throat> this is a perfect opportunity to shoot it again. So, do, 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 do. now I have a question about yeah. roll 20, because I don't think I've dealt with this. Um, where do I put my proficiency bonuses? So uh, as long as I you, can. as long as you mark the, what you're proficient in, it'll figure it in automatically. Yeah. Okay. So like Is because under like, skills proficient proficient yes and no. Yeah. yeah. But like under the class tab, you know where you put where like rogue and put that at one. Yeah. That is where it calculates your proficiency level at. Oh, uh, okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about that. So when you hit level five total character level, it um, automatically it'll, you'll automatically go up to plus three in proficiency. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, I guess I use my short bow again. Okay. Although. Let's see, can I get there? I could just sneak attack it in the back with my rapier instead. Well, you still get your sneak attack with your bow. True. Because it is adjacent to an enemy. But I'd do so. more damage if I ran up to it and stabbed it in the back. Sure. I'm just so. clarifying in case you didn't oh, okay. know. Some yeah. people don't know about the sneaking bow thing. What's that person from the bar? <laughs> just in time. To miss. Oh. Ah. With. All right, skeleton. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Coming for the Alatar. Twelve. That will not do it. Oh, you lucky, oh, yeah. lucky, lucky warlock. All right, the Muffin King is not happy. Ah. Um. He. Hmm. He's very frustrated by Brother Bad Tile. Yeah, I'm, I'm like grimacing at him. Arr. But now he's also got this. Not very polite. This rogue stabbing at him. 
Oh, I'll just leave it up to the die. Oh, it. I should have used that for an attack roll. He's attacking <laughs> no, no, Brother Matto. Just fine. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> that can roll what? All right. He's going to slash at you. A nine. Uh, That's not going to do it. A six. What the hell? <laughs> can I use my DM inspiration from the other game in this game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. No, no, wait a minute. Wait, please. <laughs> I completely forgot he had DM inspiration. Yeah, he still haven't used it. <laughs> Elif. I <laughs> uh, will do another poison spray. As long okay. as he's in the right spot. That worked last time, so. And, uh, make a 12 con save or take 9 poison damage. Man, how is he failing these? You guys are messing him up. He doesn't like poison, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you! Probably ruining my food that he's standing on, but small price to pay, I guess. Alatar. Uh, cast Ray of Sickness on this guy. Um, that's a range attack, isn't it? Yes. You'll be at disadvantage since you're in melee. What was that? If you make a range attack, you're at disadvantage because you're in melee. No. So you want either a melee attack or one that doesn't have an attack roll. Well, even if I cast my chill touch, yep. it says make a range spell attack. Yep. So I'd still be at disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. So dissonant whispers on him then. Okay. Uh, wisdom safe. Fails. Uh, 11 psychic damage. You oh, kill oh, him. Oh. His head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Elatar, the skeleton master. Skeleton slayer. Yeah. <laughs> Elma has spell slot, so. Your skull explode. <laughs> Brother Bad Tile, initiative zero. <laughs> Sacred Find okay. everything here. Dex. Damn it. Ah, I did some damage. Only three, but there was something. <laughs> you guys are just like kicking his butt. Ow! <laughs> Damn you all! <laughs> all right. Capusta Good Barrel. In a barrel. <laughs> Uh, he's faced in the barrel, slowly, silently whispering to himself, the world does not exist outside the barrel. The world does not exist just in the barrel. It'd be funny if the barrel opened up into a secret passage. <laughs> that would be great. <sighs> Whole new dungeon, guys. That, that's my turn. Okay. Roy. <laughs> okay. Roy um, scoots his way around here. Gives everyone a... Gives, gives the good brother a plight nod. Um, and then <coughs> wrecks the sky. The, the Whoa. Crit. Crit you kill him. Oh, You're a muffin man slayer. You, you killed the muffin king. Oh, thank you so much, my friends. This... This was going to attack us, I could tell. Looks to me like it did attack you. Yes, it did. As Roy picks up his... Well, I don't know. Are we still on initiative? No. No. Uh, As no. Roy retrieves his hand axe. There's a well, huge muffin down there if someone's hungry. Delicious. It looks delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zoya, thank you. Oh, uh, yes, I... I Mm. I thought perhaps when you left the bar, you would be in trouble. Oh, I'm so glad you uh, you were here. That muffin monster. How much of my food was ruined? All of it. Uh, just one, one of the rations. Okay. One day's worth, however it's measured. When, 
Roy, when you were on the force, as it were, did you have a particular rank? Uh, Roy spent like 15 years as a sergeant. Sergeant Schurls. And he's like, yeah, I thought I recognized you. Doing good, as always. Doing better than the, the bandit cut purse of Ketter Lane. Oh, don't speak in front of them. You'll embarrass me. <laughs> ah, well, <laughs> you know, not more than you'd embarrass yourself, I think. Roy, she did rather well but against the Muffin King. <laughs> is is oh, yes. a Muffin in the crevasse? <laughs> you do know. <laughs> It looks really, really tasty. Just happy to see me. <laughs> Perfectly frosted. <laughs> what I know, Zoya, they are very uh, proficient at what they do, with um, queer at what they decide to do. Well, thank you. And you yourself, your retirement uh, choice, very yeah. unique. Why don't? I see that you've quit Neverwinter as much as any. Well, yes. Not all of them liked me as much as you. Well, some of them get stuffy. Look into, you know, get promoted, make their name, catch in a... And he'll laugh to himself. Such well-known cut first. Oh. You have Maybe if she was... Me. If she was a cut purse, maybe, uh, or he, um, you might know I don't how want to my get, friend. uh, you might be able to get through a locked door. Do you have a door that is locked? Right here. And, uh, if we hmm. rescue these prisoners, um, we believe these, uh, red, red brands have some treasure here. Wait, prisoners? Oh, well, we mm. must rescue them. Forget about yeah. the treasure. Yes, oh, well, that, exactly. Royal continued to chuck one of himself. <laughs> Want to go to this? See if, uh... Well, I would, but uh, you're not as thin as you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not like a <laughs> Roy will lead Zoya in the way because he wants to go back down to this room. All right. Um, actually, hang on. People quit moving around. Uh, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Oh, he's trying to give us more treasure. Roy, you get right there. Uh-oh. And you see two armed men, like, trying to sneak and failing to sneeze. Oh, they're not as good as Mike. <laughs> oh, right. The name of the law. <laughs> the name of the law. <laughs> anyway, Violated the law. He says that all the time. He doesn't know what it means. He always says that. We don't know what it means. Crap, yeah. there's nowhere to run. All right, um, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. Select my character. Whoops. Helps if I hit the wrong button. Oh, I got bigger than zero. <laughs> Yay. Still probably going to be the last on the list. Yeah, I know. Dexterity nine. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Did everybody roll? Capusta. Did mine show up at all? Uh, I might have no. What would you roll? I can add it. Oh, you tend to change the roll no command. You keep looking for the value. Oh, I didn't select my token first. Okay, so select token. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. There we go. There it is. All right. Uh, Whose dex is better? Who's or, got a. <laughs> what's your initiative <laughs> bonus? My modifier. Zoya? modifier. How about you, Zoya? My dex mod is set three. Okay. Okay, so you go first. What would you like to do, Zoya? Well, 
the fighter is conveniently keeping the other men at bay, so I'll just try this door here. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, it's locked. You can use your thief's tools to try to open it. Okay. And... That is actually a bonus action. If you use your roguish charms. I use no, my... not yet. Not at first level, I don't think. Oh, I, I didn't know that it was only first level. I thought you came in at two. Or, actually, I don't know what level she is. Yeah. I'm at one right now. Okay. Um, so, Thieves' Tools, I do not have on here as a skill. There was nowhere to put it, really. Uh, let's see, where do you put that? Under Background, there's a spot at the bottom, Tool Proficiencies. Yeah, yeah but there's... Uh, tools there. If you go to but Skills... Not... You put it under Skills, and maybe the custom. custom Skills? Yeah. 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 And just the stat is Dex, and Proficient would be yes. Are you Proficient, or are you an expert at Thieves' Tools? I chose to simply be proficient. Ah, too bad. Yeah, well, you know, next level. Yeah. Okay. Now, can any of us even really know that those guys are sneaking in until no, Roy only, gets a chance to say something? Yeah, only Roy yeah. knows at this point. Yeah. Did, did Roy not actually yell out? Like, I thought he would have yelled out. I thought I yelled out. You haven't had a turn yet. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Um, okay, so that is more than enough to open the door. Three. And you see a small little room. Oh, with stuff. With, yeah, with stuff. Let's see, this is room number six. Ooh. Weapons. Racks of weapons line the walls of this chamber, including spears, swords, crossbows, and bolts. A dozen dirty red cloaks hang from hooks by the door. Ew, oh, dirty. oh, it's the 12 dwarves. And by the we way, could, Nathan, uh, these guys you're facing are wearing red cloaks as well. Right. We could disguise ourselves. The red cloaks are coming. We could have disguised ourselves. <laughs> yes. All right, how much of an action do I have left in this? Can I take down a cloak and put it on? Uh, Sure. Okay. Take down a cloak. Grab a few more arrows, maybe. <clears throat> All right. Capusta. All right, saucepan is going on head. Uh, he's gonna lean back in a barrel, so he faces up, and he's keeping his knife. No, he's keep yeah, he's keeping his knife out, ready in action. Whoever opens the barrel, it's gonna get stabbed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, by the way, whoever. Yeah, I I noticed that. That'll be fun. That's Someone go open the barrel. Is he our resident yeah. chemic neutral person? <laughs> <laughs> Wild card. Elith. I'm gonna walk over to the barrel that Capoost is in and okay. give give him what for about throwing my food around. So when I open the barrel, now <laughs> <laughs> well, you see is 15. Oh, um, that barrel. You gotta make it. They only gave me so much whey bread. I can't just be throwing this stuff around. I thought you had a use for it. Threw it on the floor. So yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Five second roll. Okay, five damage. <laughs> and we're into PvP. Woohoo! <laughs> Ow! Why you little fat ass? Um. Bring it on, you elven bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he is nicely packed in a barrel for you already. <laughs> Time to get pickled. So, I will cast my first level spell, False uh -oh. Life. It's just False Life to give me temporary hit points. Okay. <laughs> Yay, I get eight temporary hit points. All right, Roy. And then you realize you didn't go to the bathroom since you left, so, you know. You it <laughs> Roy is going yeah. to totally yeah, cut, exactly. cut the dude in front of him up. Okay. I still got, still got some movement, so I'm going to back oh, away. Oh, I missed, okay. like, a champion, I assume. I assume I missed. Uh, yeah. Unless I surprised the hell out of these guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm done. Ah, well. Do you call out now, Roy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he yelled his no, stop like, in the name of the law thing. Screw you guys. Um, yeah, he already yelled that. He yelled this stuff in the name of Um That was his. Uh, of course, he just know? yells random things like that, so you don't really know. Yeah, that means um, anything. Roy, or... Roy, 
Roy's gonna go ahead and action surge. That looks a little bit better, even yeah, though it's minimum damage. Six slashing, huh? Okay. And mm, now I'm done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Alatar. <laughs> Alatar. What can I do? <laughs> oh, too bad you used up all those first level spells. Alatar. Doing way too much damage on things that had like no HP. But you're like, oh hey, look, there is people in here. Can I make it down here? Okay. I realize I'm probably getting an opportunity attack on me. Well, there, there are sarcophagi there. You'd have to crawl over. Oh, them. I'd have to climb on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, which you could, but that would be like difficult terrain. So it'd take two squares to move one square through those. Uh, I can move here if Roy allows me. Yeah? No. No. <laughs> eh. That one would occur an opportunity attack since I moved through a square. Yep. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. All right. He's going to take a swing at you with his short sword. Also, Try to poke I don't you. actually see Alvatar's health bar, which is a bit strange, I think. Oh, yeah. That's you are. I can see mine. Yeah. Um, I can fix that. I can fix that. Slam. Smack. That hurts. Let's see how much it hurts. Four piercing. Eh, not too bad. Sure. And he will cast Eldritch Blast at the guy who just swung, hit him. Okay, now that guy will have a little bit of cover. Yep. Okay. That's not going to do it. Nope. Brother Bad Tow. Uh, okay, as a free action, could I put a crate or another barrel on top of Kapusta so he doesn't stab Lady Alaf again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, these... Or wait, they're empty. Yeah, it. W I mean, it would be an action. Yeah, an empty one. But yeah, oh, you it would be an that. action. Yeah. No, I better go help Roy. Okay. Um, well, I look at Lady Elect. Can I go help Roy? Or are you okay? No, I'm fine. Okay. Unless Capoose is going to take an opportunity attack on you. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. <laughs> Glad you could join me, and... Mona. Yes, but five, not five, effectively. Five. <laughs> Three fives. I do 555 damage. I, I've heard of five by five, but this is just silly. That number. Yeah. Five, five. That'd be six, 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 I think. I'm getting a lot of static from five. somebody. Is it me? Because I don't hear any static. I don't hear any static. Oh, okay. It is from Lex, but if nobody else hears it, yeah, I'll ignore it. It's from your own head. Oh, it's right. that shitty it's Fort Wayne internet. Man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, red band ruffians. Ah, uh, let's see, what do they do? So many choices. Oh, let's just do it randomly. I'm not going to use a twenty because I feel bad every time I waste a good roll on a twenty. All right, so one of them is going to attack Roy with a short sword. There's a twenty-two and a five. <laughs> damage i assume the five is gonna miss oh i thought that was the damage no yes. that was five two moments. attacks he does eight damage piercing five damage Oop, and then the, the other one let's see who he attacks oh he gets two attacks fancy yeah he is also he's gonna step up to here and he is going to attack Alatar. Ooh, what a guy. Um, ignore that roll. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's try that again. 22. That hits. And second attack, 18. That hits. Bye. Eight piercing. And seven piercing. So that's 15 Ooh. total. He drops. <laughs> Watching the wizard come into this room like uh -oh. that was a cool trick. Zoya. 
Well, um, do I hear this scream of anguish? <laughs> Probably. Probably ah! yeah. <laughs> is there a door over here to my right? Um, or is no. it just kind of like a corner? Yeah, just the one you came in. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> one, two, three. Um, from here, can I? Do I have a line of sight to anyone? Uh, yeah. no. Well, yeah. no. Not any enemies. Okay. Can I do an acrobatics roll to get through this portly cleric here? <laughs> uh, your opponent or your your friend squares you can move through no problem. It's just the enemies oh, you have to no. roll for. Oh, I'll claim we're on top of here. Good luck. Good. Uh, okay. Now you got a shot. Way to see people. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'll get either. And I, this guy's wounded. I'll take him. Well, actually, no. He, the cleric can get him. I'll take this guy. Okay. I can shoot over his head, right, since I'm above yep. him, kind of? Yeah, totally. Okay. And you'll get sneak attack, too. Sneak attack! <laughs> sneak attack! I was walking down the street, and... Sneak attack. Okay. Oh, so you've seen that. I love that video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sneak attack! Eh. But you are well positioned for next round. Yep. Capusta! Capusta, realizing what just happened, will <laughs> staggerly, you know, like, climb out of the barrel, you know, landing flat on his face, and then just kind of, like, like crawl on it, like, you know, and stagger straight there, you know, and shit, 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 sorry, 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 and we'll, we'll, uh, From up cure wounds, cure, cure wounds, which, what is my stat bonus on cure wounds? Charisma. Yeah. All your spells are charisma. Hey, all right. Nothing sadder than seeing a fat halfling cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm all beefed up now. No worries. No worries, half man. We got more HP in total than uh, rolling yeah. with all the attempts. Uh, Elith, you are super, super Elith now. Yeah. Like the equivalent of like twenty hit points. Nice. Um, <laughs> I know there's some action going on over here, but it looks awfully crowded again. Let's. Can I get there, Lex, in one move? I don't think so. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Can I get to like here? Yeah. Or is that too far? Okay. okay. Um, and I can't. But I can't see anything. Of what's going on in there? No. I mean, you can see Brother Bad Tile, and you see. Uh, Zoya standing up on a sarcophagus with her bow, shooting at somebody. Hey, how about this? Can I cast a minor illusion okay. of another fighter type guy coming in behind Brother Bad Tile? Okay. And moving through their threatened spaces, trying to draw opportunity attacks. Oh, sure. You want to you want a deception check for that or anything? Uh, sure. Okay. But use your, uh, instead of charisma, use your spellcasting stat. Okay, so intelligence, intelligence and then uh, an additional plus two, so d20 plus four. <laughs> That's pretty pretty sweet. Nah, wasn't really that convincing. But yeah, I make it look like there's like a barbarian running through, and he deliberately runs through all their threatened spaces <laughs> nice. and ends up five, oh my God. ten. 15, 25, ends up in this space. Okay. Well, I rolled insane on their uh, wisdom checks. So okay. They, so they, they didn't they fall saw for it. it. Okay. So he's here? Yeah. I can't even... You guys can draw muffins. I can't even draw an X. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roy. I you just saw this that. guy run by, Roy. <laughs> Roy well, is very confused. <laughs> Um, he's not too confused, though, that it would prevent him from shrugging his shoulders, you know, setting his jaw, gaining a little bit of HP back. Oh, 12 HP, so I think I'm going to go up to 21. So, Roy's feeling good, um, as a bonus action, and then... He's gonna smack at that dude. Start dude smacking. Okay. 
The injured one? Yeah. And it doesn't matter. Okay. And Roy's turn is done. Alatar. Saving throw. Oh, no! One failure. You might be, be seeing the great old one before you, sooner than you thought. Oh, don't worry, Alatar. Your My soul not. is mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Brother okay. Batile. <laughs> All right, looking at Alatar. Uh, bonus action, healing 10 points. Holy crap. That's that's just my bonus action. <laughs> that is a bonus action. My God. Healing worth. Yeah. And, wow. Uh, and on the one in front of me. Oh, I, I don't want to. Um, if I do Sacred Flame, since he's in front of me, that he would get. I'd get disadvantage, so screw that. Oh, no, it, I wouldn't because it's a, he has to make a saving throw, right? You can only do a cantrip, though. It is a cantrip. Ha -ha. Oh, cool. I've learned, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, disadvantage doesn't matter when it's a saving okay. throw. Yep. Um, so it's dex, huh? Hey, he actually has a bonus for that. Oh! Oh! Well, he like does a cartwheel and it misses him. <laughs> oh, I, I, uh, well, at least I did good on my heel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, I know. I could zoom in. Now it's easier to see. Hey, what do you know? Oh, so many targets. All right. Number one, I'm just going to roll because I don't know who he's going to attack. Uh, so he's attacking Roy. Suck an egg. 16 to hit and yeah. 13 to hit. Suck an egg. Yeah. Suck an egg. Yeah. This is 1953. What kind of curse is that? <laughs> Roy is really old. Well, not really old. Oh, no. He's pretty old. definitely it's not really old. Alatar. Can I make a deception check to act like I'm dead? Um, oh, open. you're still on the ground? Yeah, sure you can. Alatar, why did you come into this room? That's right. I forgot you're still on the ground. <laughs> he, in fact, how would they know that it healed? I would say he would even get advantage on this. But... Well, I think healing spells have like a visible, like oh, okay. golden That's light true. or something. Yeah. Um, it's blue for me. But... Wow, he he, ro <laughs> it's blue for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, he, he did not fall for your possum playing. He rolled a 14 to hit you, Alatar. Does that hit? That's fine. See. That's the magic number. That's the magic number. And then he rolled a 13, which misses. So he, he hit you for four piercing. You're like, not even trying to get up yet. And he's like, stay down. And he stabs you. Good grief. God. Well, well, they can't hit Roy, so. <laughs> Zoya. Destroya. All right. <laughs> I shoot them again. Shoot the guy across from Roy. Okay. You want to move forward a bit, Zoya, so I, can, I might have to do Flamer a little. on top, too? Yeah. Plus, you'd, you would have disadvantage with that ranged attack roll. She's on top of the sarcophagus. Oh, okay. Okay. That'll do it. And All you get right. your sneak attack Max damage, damage, too. And I sneak attack. And I sneak attack. Oh. Um, well, one max, one min. Yeah. Um, it, however, uh, hurts him as it sinks into his chest. He's like, ah. I just realized I could have just simply deceived them this whole time and said I was wearing a red cloak and I was on their side and walked behind <laughs> them and stabbed them in the back. Nah. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, well. Next time. Capusta, everybody left you. <sighs> there is a muffin waiting for you. Is he still in the barrel? That muffin is getting more glorious all the time. Look at it. Wow. No, it has that'd an be aura gone. now. As soon as, 
As soon as it cast the other illusion, oh, that would okay. go away. But that oh. is a pretty awesome muffin. <laughs> wow. This thing is starting to gain sentience. <laughs> yeah. It's alive! It's the god of muffins. <laughs> yeah. What you doing, Kyle? He's playing his bagpipes, but okay. he's also casting Prestidigitation on his bagpipes to make it sound like a whole band. <laughs> Okay. I'm just going right back there. Get... Pulling a pinky no, pack. Crazy. He's also saying very proudly, and there's tears. Obvious tears. <laughs> from, from the movement of his, the power of his performance? Uh, he's just got a lot of reasons to cry. Okay. Abusive life, shitty job, makes no money. Stop! If, that, if that's what it takes to cry, I'm about to cry. Right? <laughs> okay. An illusionary muffin's better than his muffin. That sucks too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a damn good muffin. Don't knock on it. Ellis. People are knocking his muffin. I'm gonna move to here. Okay. And hop up on there wherever Zoya okay. is there. Sure. And uh, let's do that poison. Poison puff pastry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, obviously on the guy. The injured one? Yeah. Uh, oh. They're both injured. The more injured one? <laughs> yeah, well, the guy right here. Oh, okay. Can you corner uh, for me? He the failed. Failed, so he takes eight poison damage. Ouch. He is very hurting. As you blow poison in his face, he's like, Aah! his face Do we turns have any all green. To make them surrender, at this point, it, it is polite. Or do we already kind of know what they're up to and <laughs> screw them? Surrender. I say. I'm done. That's it. Okay, Roy. <laughs> okay, Roy is going to. Attack uh, this one. Okay. Slam. I might hit him. That is a miss. Excellent. And I'm done. Alatar. Uh, he's going to reach his pack and drink his healing potion. Okay. Are you going to get up? Yeah, he'd get okay. up and then do that. Okay. Okay. Brother Badtile. Brother Badtile um, says, surrender. Do you have persuasion? Or would it be intimidation? I think Could right now. It, um, <clears throat> Depends on how you say it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. And I, I think right now intimidation would uh, work better. Okay. Because um, <laughs> they're getting smashed to pieces. <clears throat> Surrender or die. Okay. Oh, look at that. Let's see if they can beat it. Oh, that they have a negative fails. one. They can't beat it. Uh, they, They're uh, going to pee their pants. Yeah, well, it's their action next, so they both throw down their weapons, hold their hands up. We surrender! No more! Next. Lies. These guys wearing the same outfit as the other jerks? Yes, with the red cloaks. There are more red cloaks in the room over there, the one I open. Ah. We could form a club. <laughs> I guess there already is one. We can take their cloaks and act like them. Yeah, I like that. So, yes, the armory... Um, also weapons. Yeah, there are 12 uh. spears, 6 short swords, 4 long swords, 6 light crossbows, 8 quivers holding 20 crossbow bolts each. And so it doesn't say how many cloaks. Oh, a dozen cloaks. Yeah. I think there's oh, only 11. 11 <laughs> well, yeah, 11 now. We relieve them of their weapons and any monies they might have. Yes, the money is very important. Okay. Let's see. Money, money, money. 
Oh, and you also now see, now that the battle is over, you see that this door here, mm -hmm. um, if I could get it to work. Leads to a bloody mess. That door is now open. You think that's where they came from. And what is this there? Uh, hang on. Um, the key thing. To me... I mean, it's kind of rough, but it looks like a little girl with her head down, with a teddy bear and a pile of blood on her. Oh dear. I mean... What a sick mind you have. I know. That's <laughs> like a Rorschach test. I mean, look, the pink dress, blonde hair. You got, you got the pink dress. Pink dress, and then there's like blonde hair, and then shape of a head. Okay, so... I think it's a disembodied torso with deer antlers. <laughs> it looks like someone was chewing gum with a loose tooth, and that tooth came out with the gum. All right, oh, so, I see that. so yeah, you guys have the you have the armory <laughs> with with all the weapons. Yeah. You have uh -huh. three crypts in the room you're in now, and then mm -hmm. you have this other room that you haven't gone in yet. To see, can, can I uh, hop down and investigate this room for? Yeah, let's open some crypts. Yeah. Okay. Does Bad Teal have a radio now? What is that? A what? Oh no, that's just where a bit of the stuff didn't get unrevealed. Alatar. Oh yeah, I have a walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> I drop it. I leave it behind. Can Can you call for an airstrike like once yeah. per day? <laughs> yeah, once per day. Yeah, it's a daily. All right, so you guys look in the sarcophagi, and you find um. Let's see. Oh, okay. I already described all that. Uh, you find in each sarcophagus a platinum signet ring, each worth about 40 or 50 gold. So three uh, platinum yeah. rings worth 50 gold each. Oh, no, you take it. I do not need it. I okay. say looking pointedly at Roy. Oh, I, I mean, Roy, Roy's in here. Let's take, so. well, let's take well, them all. Well, I say all. loud enough to impress Roy. Yeah. <laughs> Roy, you were impressed. I am um, impressed. And then uh, 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 we, we take them all so we can sh uh, sell them and share the money. Okay. So uh, the room that Roy goes into, this long room is partitioned into three areas with iron bars walling off the north and south. Filthy mm -hmm. straw lines the floors of those ceiling, of those cells the hinged doors of which are secured by chains and padlocks. <laughs> a pair of disheveled human women are held in the cell to the south, while a human boy is confined to the north. All are dressed in plain gray tunics and have iron collars fitted around their necks. A heap of discarded clothing is piled carelessly against the far wall. So that's supposed that to that be... thing we were looking at? Yeah, that's supposed to be clothing. Oh, that's the muffin. So it was a disembodied torso, kind of. Oh boy! So the, they're in the straw. We we have bound our prisoners and ch and hobbled them. Yes. Um, just a second. Bound I can. Uh, I'm gonna press I, the digitize I have the clothes. Tokens for him. <laughs> clean up all the blood and clothes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uncanny Valley. NPCs. <laughs> yes, they really are. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have time to find like awesome tokens. Sorry. <laughs> We're depressed. Um, if at all possible, I I free them. Okay. Do I, do um, I pick locks? Yeah. Lock picking. Um, yeah, oh, that's wait, actually... actually the guys that we attacked. Did they have keys in them? Yeah, uh, they took their stuff away. No, they did not. They came out of this room. Yes, they did, but they don't have keys. No one trusted them with the key. Where are the keys? I ask. Glass staff has one. Oh yeah, he has some. I I'll try each of their locks. I'm able to get one out probably. <laughs> yeah, the the twenty was good enough. All right. You can, I mean, you can try again. There's nothing to Take keep you from. 20. That's true. Take 20. There's Take only 100. two locks. There's the Take cell 100. to the north and one to the south. 
Okay, you have to I'll take just... 100 and call Cthulhu. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. So you you unlock the cells. See, Is I'm not any... even good at this. Do any of them particularly look hurt or in pain? Um, let me see. Uh, no, they're not hurt. Um, one of the, the women, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I, I see why they worded it like that. It, there, there's, uh, a woman who's like kind of middle-aged and then the other woman that they described is, is like 18. Um, and so this is, uh, this woman's daughter and her son and her name is Mirna Dendrar. And uh, she says, this is Nars and Nilsa. And she tells you that a few days ago, these these men, uh, not these particular men, but the Red Brands, uh, murdered her husband, Fell, for defying them. Um, and Good man. she asks you, you know, to keep a lookout for him. And she describes him to you. And you recognize the guy you found in the crevasse. The, the oh, corpse. dear. Oh, we might we... want to cover that up with a muffin before she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> or at least a red cape. <laughs> um, let's see. And she you know, said that she says that they were they were going to sell them into slavery. So she uh, thanks you very much for letting them letting them out. Lydia, laugh. Sure. Will you look at the prisoners while I put a cape over uh, her husband? Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, right, I'll go do that. She I'm says. Putting a backpack for everybody. She says I'm I go very with them just in case there might be bad guys out there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she says, I'm, I'm very grateful. I wish that there's something I can do. I could do to repay you, but uh, <laughs> I don't have any money. Um, however, do you make muffins? I, I do know where you might be able to find something of value. When, oh. when I was young, my family fled from the nearby town of Thund Thunder Tree after Undead overran the place. We had an herb and alchemy shop there. In, inside of the shop, there is a case containing an emerald necklace. It was hidden underneath some storage shelves. We we were never able to go back and get it. I imagine it's still there. It's probably worth a good amount of money. Emerald necklace, you say? Yes. And actually... What about these undead? What were they like? Vampires? Skeletons? Lich kings. She says, I don't, I don't know. They look like, like walking corpses. Well, zombies, gay. All right. All right. And Brother Batile and Zoya went and covered up the corpse with a cloak. Right. And yeah, you guys don't encounter anybody. We should take everybody out and... And including our prisoners. Can we also take a short rest? I'm running low on spells. Don't we need a long rest to get our spells back? Uh, warlocks only need short rests. Well, I need a long <laughs> So do I. I need a long rest as well. So it looks yeah. like Apt. we should probably take a long rest before coming back in here. Well, yeah. we're, we're about at the end of our time. So do you guys want to say that you go back to town and... Take a long rest. And rest. And that we'll sure. good. Sounds pick good. up there last Sounds good to time. me. Makes sense. Okay. Cool. Do we catch right. On our players? way back, if I may, I <laughs> walk up to the wizard because. Wizard. And I say, I happen to find this in the crevasse, and I hold out the sword. Could you. <laughs> do you think you could make anything of this? Um. Let me see. I could, um, not right now, but I could certainly detect its magical, uh, whether it's magical or not. You just gotta spend one hour with the item. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what you gotta do. And if you make oh. a history check, you might actually know something about it. Uh, I got history. I, I do not. I don't know. Does does she show it or 
Zoya show it to everyone? Um, or if she just showed it to the Might as well. If you see me carrying around this yeah. big sword, it might be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask Brother Bat Tile. Yeah. I don't know. Swords this is, is maybe box. something that maybe something that Roy would know of. Certain things like this, I don't think so. But seeing as it's a sword, true, maybe. maybe. I'm trying to find a DC. Oh, you found it in the crevasse. Here we go. Hey, Roy had a pretty decent check. Oh, he made it. That's what you needed. Fifteen. Fantastic. Um, all right. Uh, it's a magic amulet. No magic sword yeah okay so this <laughs> this sword is inscribed with the name talon its hilt is worked in the shape of a bird of prey with outspread wings and uh roy you know that it once belonged to a great knight named aldith tresender known as the black hawk tresender what's the name of that manor yeah. Trans transcender manor yeah this is who the manor's named after and he, roy's like um, the black hawk no. He died yeah. fighting off the orcs that attacked through the hidden caverns below this, his manor. Talon was lost here until presumably the Nothic found it. Roy, Roy relates that to Zoya and asks if he could see it for a second. No, no, have it. It sounds like it's a sword with a story, and I do not like those sort of swords. <laughs> well, Roy loves a good story, and he'll give it a few practice swings and go... Yeah, yeah, this is a neat item. Oh, uh, it also, it, like, it also has hand? a silver chase scabbard. Oh, nifty. Like, well, you know, hand, I wouldn't have given it to just it. anyone, but seeing as this is the sergeant who booked me a hundred thousand times. Yeah. Yeah, it feels, uh, it, it feels except exceptionally, like, well-made and balanced. and. So Roy will... Like, slide his old sword back on his belt and put this one in place. Cool. I hope this proves that we are not at the same odds we used to be. I gave that up. I gave up all grudges when I was in the force. In the watch, not the force. I didn't need to give you a sword for that? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He, he could probably use the sword for everyone's benefit. And I oh, gave well. up. I gave up old grudges when I left the watch. I have to say, I have been traveling alone for a while, and it is not safe. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if I could uh, tag along for a bit. So far, you have been very lucrative. I mean, um, very interesting. <laughs> we are quite interesting. <laughs> uh, I, I and and you too have uh, proved. Uh, your valor and uh, lockpicking skills as well. So I am very valorous when I know there is a fighter nearby. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. I mean, you know me, I love myself a jury of peers. So what do you say, gang? Oh god, Thumbs I just punched my mic. <laughs> okay. I do not think most of you are peers, but as long as you keep your hands away from my purse, and all senses of the word, you can come along. <laughs> oh, what do you guys do with your two prisoners? Are you taking oh, them back to town? Yeah, we take them back to town. Okay. Are you going to take them to the, uh, oh, what's it called? The sheriff station, basically? That's not what they yeah. call it. but I mean, did they say, like, they, did they say they were from the town or not? They're not. They're not. They're, yeah, they, they, these are mercenaries that had shown up and started murdering people. No, so, I mean the, the prisoners. Town Master's Hall, that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, the prisoners are from town. We, we okay. heard about them. Then they in probably town. come. Incidentally, yes. how many people did you happen to kill at the pub? Or maybe? Uh, just three. Three. So we've encountered two here and three more, and there were twelve cloaks. Oh, and then we let one go at the cloak, uh, uh, at the pub as so well. So there's six people unaccounted for. Yes. Roughly six or seven. Yeah, we go to the town master's hall, and we say we found the murderer, and we give the guy's name uh, who was murdered. Okay. Well, I have a few things for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Townmaster's Hall has sturdy stone walls, a pitched wooden roof, 
and a bell tower at the back. Posted on a board next to the front door is a notice written in common. It reads, Reward, Orcs near Wyvern Tor. Those of a mind to face the Orc menace should inquire within. The notice bears the town seal and an indecipherable signature. When you guys go in, you see... Uh, shoot, where's his name? The current town master. Uh, he is a male human. Uh, he's very wearing very nice clothes. Looks like he's got quite a bit of money. And he introduces himself as Harbin Wester. And uh, you pretty quickly, after you talk to him a bit, come of the opinion that he is a fat, a fat pompous old fool. <laughs> he's uh. also uh, completely intimidated by the Red Brands. Um, you gather that as well, and he uh, can't lock these two that you bring in up fast enough. But it has a small but serviceable jail in the cellar with two cells. We told him about the murder. Okay. So, and and we'll, we'll we'll bring in the survivors too, witnesses. And Capusa okay. asks about a kitchen. <laughs> he doesn't have a kitchen. What? How do they feed the prisoners? Also in here is uh, Sildar Hallwinter. This is where he's uh, set up shop now. Oh. You remember him? You rescued him in the rescued Goblin him. Cave. What are, you, what are you doing in the Townmaster Saul, Sildar? Well, he's uh, uh, Lord's Alliance, so he's kind of helping the Townmaster run this place now. Nifty. <laughs> Just show up like, yeah, I'll run this place. All right, uh, Sildar, I think you're going to do a great job here. We, we tell Sildar the whole story as well. Cool. Um, yeah, so he's here to bring law and order to Fandolin. Uh, and he, he also wants to find the lost mine of Wave Echo Cave and help the Rock Seeker brothers put it back into production. Mm -hmm. He believes that will bring prosperity to the region. Um, he asks you guys to... Uh, keep up the pressure on the Kragmaw goblins and he offers you a 500 gold reward if you can find their castle, Kragmaw castle and either defeat or drive off their chieftain oh. he, he suggests that you might be able to find the castle by searching the lands around the Tribor trail for more raiding parties and he also Dang. Hang on. Pulls out a scroll. You. He's like, shit. Yeah, he's I've got my, a shopping list. He's like, I've got shit for you guys to do. Um, oh, there it is. So there's that. And he also, um, you guys might have remembered before he talked about he was looking for a guy named Diarno Albrecht. Yes. Um, a fellow member of the Lord's Alliance who disappeared. Did you find him? Uh, no, he didn't. Um, he asked you guys to investigate the manor, uh, where you just were actually, and the surrounding area, um, to see, uh, if, if he, if you see him, it, he's heard word that he was last seen in that area. He's afraid that the red brands might've gotten a hold of him. We asked the uh, prisoners who we rescued if they had seen him. Uh, they don't, they don't know who he is. I mean... We were only in like some kind of basement. There has to be another floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. And he describes him as a short, dark bearded human wizard in his thirties. Uh, and... We asked the, uh, uh, the prisoners, what does the uh, glass staff look like? Um, he is short, uh, dark human wizard in his thirties. Uh, he's well, he's a human. He's male. Um, sure. He's kind of a little short. Well, yeah, but well, maybe in um, his 30s. He's got he's got a pretty dark beard. Um, mm -hmm. middle-aged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he offers you a 200 gold reward if you find him. All right. Ka -ching. Mm -hmm. Ka -ching. Well, you know, then, just uh, by just by the uh nature of that job i think you know all right we, we, we just get a little a bunch paid of... bump on that one nope no uh we will not get a pay bump on that one 
Uh, uh, just a, a question for the GM. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just rescued all these prisoners and did all this daring do and, and made muffins. Is there experience? Yes. Oh, pass Lots out of muffins to all our prisoners. What? <laughs> prisoners get muffins too. Huh. Um, there's one last thing. Uh, Harbin also, since you guys are so awesome and you're doing all this other stuff, asks you uh -huh. to also uh, look into some trouble that they've been having with the band of orcs near Wyvern Tor, which is what you all read right. about on notice. On the, on the board, yeah. Yeah, and uh, there's a 100 gold reward for that if you guys cool. do that. Nice. And it's just like and then and then and, and then, then and then 470 experience. I think I think I found it all. He'll do 469. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to be that much, John. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> We've got plenty of level up op op opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So, so you get the if I could talk, you guys get 167 XP, and I am I am gonna look and make sure I gave it all to you because I, I might have missed something. 167, yeah. Because I feel like that's not enough. I might have missed something. Dwayne, somewhere. myself, and John should be at 597 now. Yep. Let's check some. That's what I got. So, 772. So if I find more I should have given you, I will put it on your character sheets and I'll let you guys know. Yeah. So, Ness, you need, I think, 300 to get the second level. 350. 350? No, it's 300. No, it's just 300. Oh, 300, 300 yep. 900, something, something, something. 2,700. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and I'll, I'll right remember, uh, Ness, I'll remember next time that you're really close. And when I think you've gotten there, I'll, I'll give it to you so you can level up. You don't have to wait till the end of the session. Oh, <laughs> and while I'm thinking about it, when we um, take a long rest or whatever, which I assume we get to do. Yes. Um, do I discover anything about this Talon sword or is it just a regular long sword? Uh, it's a plus one long sword. Oh, look at you. I've never had a plus one long sword. Four? First time I've ever seen one come up too. Tower. Yeah, and I did the little the little handouts for the quest because it's a lot to keep track yeah. of. Yes, thank you. It was hard to. I was trying to keep notes, but it was like so much. Yeah. <laughs> so I I appreciate the journal entries. Yeah. Okay then. So Monday. Yeah, next week. Awesome, guys. It was fun. All right, cool. See Thank some you. of you Thursday. And see yeah, everybody yeah. at home on Thursday. Thursday yeah. and Friday. So. See you later. Bye bye. bye. See ya. Bye. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching and uh, tagging along for our game. This was session three of the campaign. So I don't know uh, how how long this will take, but we're doing the whole uh, Lost Mine of Fan Fandolin or Fandelver. <laughs> Lost Mine of Fandelver. We're doing the whole uh, campaign. This is from the beginner box. And yeah, we're having a lot of fun with it. So we do this every Monday. We have our Tyranny of Dragons campaign every Thursday, and we just started doing Princes of the Apocalypse on Fridays, and Dwayne, uh, who was Elith tonight, is running that one. So this one, Monday, 6.30 Eastern, Tyranny of Dragons, Thursday, 6.30 Eastern, and the Prince of Apoc Princes of the Apocalypse is on Friday at 7 Eastern. So uh, check those out. And these are all also on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash C slash Starwalker Studios. So if you just came tonight and you want to catch up, all the previous sessions are there. And uh, yeah, we stream them all. 
So thanks again, everybody, for coming and watching. And we'll see you hopefully Thursday. <laughs>